Hey guys, so today we're diving into potential hands, monsters, areas, and so much more that could be implemented within Poppy Playtime Chapter 4. First up, let's talk about the areas. There's been plenty of rumors about there will be an amusement park, because way back in the start of Chapter 3, we see multiple posters of Poppy standing next to an amusement park. Let's temporarily call it Poppy's Wonderland. So, we could speculate on many things here. How big will it be? Will we be able to ride the roller coasters? And most importantly, what could our mission be? What purpose do we have down there? Maybe we fell into it and try to escape, or perhaps we are looking for something deeper within it. And that brings me to the next area, the prison. And if you're new or simply just haven't heard about it, in the game files there is a sign next to the elevator where Kissy gets taken that says, you guessed it, prison. Now this could just happen to be the prison that Dog Day was in, but I highly doubt it. Because why would the developers place the sign to remember the idea at the end of the game if they already had made the idea at that point? This must have to be included in chapter 4, which thing about it could make the game darker. Since there could be many non-revealed experiments trapped in the cells. Time for the monsters. First up, there is my theory that I have plans to include in my upcoming episodes of my VHS series and my gameplay series and this monster is going to be downright nightmare for you. So basically, he was pure evil. He was a mascot entertaining kids and I know, I know what you're thinking. William Afton, yeah, kinda is. But this mascot got caught before harming any one of the children and the scientists found a way to punish him and that was to trap his evilness and him in the 90s computers. That's why they trapped him inside the computers, but he was left there during the hour of joy. And perhaps I might make one of those character concept videos about him. So make sure to keep being notified, I'm trying to hit 2000 subscribers. Second antagonist there could be, or should I say antagonists? Since this was kinda confirmed in the Rampage's interview with Zack the developer of Poppy Playtime. Now I don't really have any idea of how many there would be because he didn't include numbers. So time will tell. And finally, the hands. These are some of the top ideas and magnet hand, which I'm a bit skeptic about because it doesn't really seem that realistic. But you know, we never know because in chapter 3 we literally got a hand that could rocket us into the air. Second hand is the push hand, which is an idea I really support. It could be really cool to smash walls and stuff like that in the game, and it would make a lot more sense in the puppy universe. A hand that has also been talked about is the sticky hand. So you can hang on ceilings and all kind of stuff like that, but I mean, there must be a catch, right? Because it would be kind of boring to just stick to the walls throughout the whole game, skipping puzzles, and so on. Last but least, we have the hook hand. It functions like this. It has a scope and you can then aim at these yellow wall things and fire. And you can do that up to two times once you've done it. You can zip line to the other side. In my opinion, this is the coolest hand. If you enjoyed this video, just please consider liking and subscribing since it helps out so much. I hope I'll see you in the next video. Bye!